Did you know there is a tool that remembers how you code across every project and every code editor? It is called Byte Rover and it acts like a memory layer for your AI coding agents. It tracks your team's coding style, workflows, decisions, fixes and more so you're not repeating the same work or losing valuable context. Let me show you quickly. So here I'm in my cursor and I'm going to my mod switcher component. This is not a classic Shetsian component. I'm always going in my older projects to just copy paste it and put it inside some new project. So what we can do now is I can mark this whole component and go to my sidebar from cursor and I can say just save this mod switcher component in my memory. And now we're going to see, so AI is planning next moves and it is going to use Byte Rover to save this component into our memory that we can later call from whatever AI code editor we want. So we can call it from Windsurf, from GitHub Copilot or wherever. And there it is. We can see calling Byte Rover retrieve knowledge. So now it is saving this as a memory inside of our byte rover configuration. And it is saying I'm going to store the mod switcher component, path purpose dependencies and everything as a re re reusable memory for future reference. And there it is, it's stored and we can now go to some totally other project. We have now totally another project right here. And I'm going to open the mod toggle component. This is a classic Shetsian component that we can just copy paste from Shetsian library, but we want to replace it with that mod switcher that we saved in our memory. So I'm going to highlight this code and in our sidebar here, I'm going to say retrieve the mod switcher and replace this mod toggle. So now what's going to happen is that AI is going to access our memory from Byte Rover and we are going to retrieve that mod switcher and AI agent is going to do all the work for us. So you know how Vibe coding goes. It's replacing all the imports and everything wherever mod toggle is used. It's going to replace it with mod switcher and just put in the new component. But the important thing is that we can retrieve that memory and we have context on every project and not only on cursor but on every other AI code editor. So we could do this also on Windsurf and great thing is that it is shared. So also your colleague that you're working with could retrieve things like this on his machine on his, if he's using GitHub Copilot, you're using cursor, you have the same context for your team. So we can see now that we are retrieving everything here from Byte Rover. There it is. So I'm going to add a new components mod switcher component using the existing select UI and next themes and update components header.tsx. So it's just replacing the mod toggle with the mod switcher and then it's going to run the lint and everything. So AI is doing the work for us. It's done, so it created the mode switcher component. Let's see that one. And I think it's exactly the same like the one that we were using. Let's check the AI elements. It's here. And yeah, I think that's the one. It has this height eight and width eight. So it's completely the same. It retrieved exactly the same component from my, our memory. And now everyone can use it. So we have this in our context always with us and we can do this for almost everything. This is just a simple example. So I showed you just retrieving one simple component. Some real usage would be, for example, here in our forms, we can choose whatever form here. I'm always using the same thing. For example, I'm putting in the router, use router is loading state and I have my toast. So I always on submit put this loading, then I always put a toast on success, then toast on error and setting is loading to false. And also on the submit button here, I'm always putting the disabled if it is loading and here the loader on the loading state. So I'm always repeating this whenever I'm creating a new form. So what I could do here is I could just save this workflow for me inside of my own memory context and just use it whenever I'm creating a new form.
So I can now just say here, save in my memory this whole workflow with this form with loading state, toast, router refresh and react hook forms. And now this whole workflow is going to be saved in my memory with byte rover and I could always retrieve it. I'm constantly creating new forms, especially for my videos. So I could always just say, use my workflow for my form creation and put in all the loading and everything automatically so I don't have to do it for every form that I'm creating. And there it is, it saved my workflow. So React Hook Form workflow with loading sonar toasts and Next.js router refresh push. So we have here the stack that is used for this one. Then we have where is it saved? Usually components forms. I'm saving usually forms as you can see here in the forms directory. Then we have core steps. So initialize everything with Zod Resolver, is loading via use state, then try catch finally. So it saves and it saw everything inside of my file, what I did. So now I have this context carrying it with me on every project that I create. You can also access your Byte Rover account and you can see all of your memories. You can delete them and you can see your dashboard how many times you're actually retrieving all of your memories and how many memories you created. So everything is controlled by you. And for teams, this is totally another dimension. Imagine you have a 20 plus dev team and you all share the same memory layer. New dev joins, they instantly get access to how your team works coding styles, training data, and even data pipelines. Setup takes minutes. You just install their extension inside of your AI code editor, create your account, log in, and you're good to go. Byte Rover works with engine called Cypher under the hood. It's this GitHub repo right here. It is totally transparent. Already 1.2K of stars on this repo. So if you find it useful, go give it a star. You have all the links in the description below. And for more content like this, Join the mighty horde, subscribe.